Bright Light sitting on a set my soul on fire. Welcome to Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world and home to the running rebels of UNLV. Today, we're set for a clash between these two rivals from the Mountain West. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off of bye week, the Boise State Broncos taking on the UNLV Rebels. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Broncos will kick it away to start us off. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So UNLV's offense will start this game off. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll keep it on the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior after picking up a couple at second and eight. Scanning the field, it's O'Neal. And he's got his man on the sideline. He'll come up a little short of the first down. Third and short now from their own 48. To the ground to try to pick up the first. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. And the Rebels are flying down the field. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The play action fake. Got him downfield. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. The Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. I'll tell you, man, I love quarterbacks that have arm talent, but that can throw it accurately at the same time. And you saw all of it on that in route. Got it in the middle, it's Thomas. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Pulls it and fires to the left. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Going for six. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rebels. How about the start from this offense? What a drive. Just when they needed a third down conversion, they got it. They put a bunch of plays together, kind of wore the defense out, and in the end, punched it in for six. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. Bringing it out. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Broncos offense will get the ball for the first time. First down here for the offense. Back to pass, it's Nelson. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Genty. Still running at the 40. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. They'll put the tight end in motion. 
He leaves it with his back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. And he's brought down after a nice game. The Broncos have it with a first and ten. Give to the running back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. Feeling some heat. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. Third and short. Coming from the 34, you wonder if this is four down territory. He'll keep it himself. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll go to the ground. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Back to throw. It's Nelson. Looking for the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. Fires left. He's got it. Tight windows, no problem to grab the tackle, and it's first down in the red zone at the 10. Looking for space. It's Genty. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They go to the ground. And he got nothing, and the line of scrimmage is still the five-yard line. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. They're trying to get... And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. There is little that warms the heart of a defender like a strip sack. Even better if you get the ball. And I like the awareness of this defender on the play because he knew he might not actually get to the quarterback and make the hit, but he was able to still swat away, use those long arms to create the turn. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. There was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Looking to pass. It's O'Neal. Coming after him. He'll try to do it himself. Oh, he's so hard to get on the ground. He's got room. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with the first down. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and UNLV has the edge. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll give it to the back. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. This offense has a second down play. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The D thinking bring some heat on third and long from the 44. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And the Rebels will call on their punt team. Fourth 
That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Boise State ready to send out that offense. Off the play fake on first down. They're bringing heat. Finds a tight end. Tackled immediately after the catch. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. He's looking to throw. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. To the air, it's Nelson. Pocket stuck, and he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. Touchdown, UNLV. The defense takes matters into their own hands. The defense comes up with the fumble and takes it to the house. The old scoop and score. Create the fumble, pick that puppy up, take it to the house. Great job by the defense, not only forcing the turnover, but getting points out of it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. And he takes this from inside the five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. The lead's not insurmountable, just down 14-0. But, David, you don't score here, and it could get a little tricky fast. If you don't score here, if you don't possess the football and put something together to give your defense a little bit of a blow, it's not the ideal start. But it ain't like this game's late in the football game. Create some momentum here in the second quarter. Yeah, momentum's a real thing in college. He hurls one deep down the left side. And they can't hook up, going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. We'll see if the offense can move the chains after that incompletion. Fires to the wideout. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. But starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Movement here from the tight end. On the run, it's Genty. And the Broncos will move the sticks. They've got a first and ten at the 34. The inside handoff. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. Got three on first down at second and seven. Leaves it with the back. Plows through the defense. At the 20, he's got space. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He'll do it himself. Oh, they knock it free. And the defense snatches it, and they've reversed the field. He pulled it and kept it on the option, but he couldn't keep it away from the defense. I think the QB made the right decision not to pitch it. He needs to do a better job with ball security. The defense, they were able to get swarm to him quickly and dislodge the football from his body. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that up to touchdown. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. I mean, you've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. Get a stop. Create some momentum for your offense. Tackle is made at the 23. Let's call it a five-yard pickup. It's first down from their own 23-yard line. He wants to throw. Getting some heat. And 
the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. You want to change some of this bad luck you've had so far around? Get after the quarterback and get his butt on the ground. Nice job by the defense. This game ain't over. It's still the first half. This is a good start. And now to try to put things in motion on second and long from the 15. Out of the gun, the running back has it. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. But well, we knew coming into this game, this defense had some matchups they felt really good about up front, and they won one right there. Getting to the quarterback, creating a negative play, and they're going to need these guys to start winning more of those because they are finding themselves in a hole here early in the game. The Rebels will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Bringing it back, it's Genty. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. He'll pull it on the read. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. There's a live football. Oh, and just like they drew it up, put it on the ground, fall on top of it, still get the first down. Motion from the offense. They'll throw it on first down. Oh, he gave him the limp leg. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. They built this offense around finding mismatches and just get the ball to the back and let him do his thing. Yeah, it didn't have to be long down the field. Like it threw it right near the line of screen. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Broncos. This offense is so good, man. They can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year, and that's why they're a top-10 offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. Miami has the lead right now, but this Canes crowd is restless. They just haven't been able to separate themselves yet there in the 305. They're up by a field goal over Florida State. He'll come out throwing on first down. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to it. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. It's a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And the Rebels will try to pin them back with the punt. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Boise State ready to send out that offense. Dropping back, it's Nelson. Gonna let it fly. Pulls it in on the right. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Looking to go up top on first down. Pressure coming. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. Looking to pass on second down. Throws for the tight end. He's got it. 
And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Caught over the middle. It's Genty. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. The Broncos have it with a first and ten. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Makes the grab. And he won't be able to push his way in. He stopped at the one. And this offense has a chance to pull even as we get deep in the first half. Defense trying. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Broncos. And I love that this offense stuck to it. Stuck to the run game. Didn't panic. They got down, but they answered the bell right before the half, and they got this thing right where they want it now. They can tie this football game and hopefully go into the half with a lot of momentum. Lining up for the PAT. Bangs it through for an extra point. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Here's the return from inside his 10. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. Going up top on first down. Pass is incomplete, and we dwindle down to seven seconds. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Right on target this time. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Just enough time for one final play in this half. To the air on first down. He lost one down the sideline. Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful first two quarters of football there today in Vegas. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas inside Allegiant Stadium. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. They drag him down at the 22. He gambled for the big return out of the end zone and came up a little short. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Just a short pass to the tight end. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on game day. It's really easy to say the word RPO and say I'm going to run them, but you got to make those decisions and you got to make them fast. You can't get confused by all the craziness that's going on, by all the guys moving around or talking. Nice job by the quarterback staying in the moment, seeing it, throwing the slant, making sure he makes the right decision. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Throws to the wideout. He makes a catch. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. He knows he'll see the field. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Looking to throw, it's Nelson. Takes the easy throw in the flat. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Offense in the sumo set with the big boys. Trying play action. Trying to get to it. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. 
Man, and this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. It doesn't matter how many defenders are around you or how hard you get hit. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win games. Third down for the offense after recovering their own fumble. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Feeling some heat. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. Awesome job by the defense. Not only getting a fast quarterback on the ground, but understanding what he wants to do. He can take off. I got to make sure I got good pursuit angles, and I got to make sure I build rails. I can't let him outside. I got to keep him in the pocket. He tries to get outside. They get the sack and get the huge loss on that play. And the Broncos decide to punt it away. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. On the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Leaves it with the back. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. They're trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, that's not Lamar Jackson back there scrambling around. This is a guy the defense felt like if we can get him out of the pocket and flush him, we can get after him and chase him, bring him down. And they did that one pretty easy there, getting the sack. The Rebels will punt it away on fourth down. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. On the return, it's Genty. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shop. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking for a man. It's Nelson. Got his man downfield. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Offense will try to strike on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Caught in the backfield, it's Genty. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Line getting set on second down. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Stop is made at the 36. Let's call it a five-yard gain and a first down. The Broncos are moving quickly down the field. To the ground with the back. Makes the tackle at the 31. It's a pickup of five on the play. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off the play fake. Unleashes one deep. And that's going to be incomplete. Going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. They'll run the screen. Oh, what a move! They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit them for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. From the red zone, looking for a space. to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hits. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. Here's the handoff. Touchdown, Boise State! And that one will give them the lead. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now.
PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Miami is in front. They've led for most of the way. However, Sebastian isn't exactly putting this one in the win column just yet. They're up by six over Florida State. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Guys? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Now on the option. Really nice job to squirt his way up to the 31-yard line. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. Nice move to keep moving. He's up to 90 yards on the ground, and he has his eyes fixed on leading the nation in rushing. On the ground, it's Genty. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Leaves it with the running back. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Across the 25, he's got room. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. That's the end of the quarter, and Boise State has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. They'll try to open this quarter by sticking it in the end zone here. They'll run it on first and goal. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Second and goal coming up. Quarterback on the keeper. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. Third and goal. Coming after it. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. Man, I think this quarterback needs to take his offensive line out for dinners more often because they're not protecting him. And sometimes it doesn't even look like they're trying. That now the sixth sack of the game for this defense. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. And it's right down the boulevard. And now the lead is extended a little far. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his spot. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. The give to the back. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And he 
finally breaks one. They get rewarded. They've been trying to run the football, Palmer, but just haven't had success all day. Yeah, and the staff never gave up on him, too, right? They kept giving him opportunities, and maybe that's the run that starts to open things up here later in this game for this guy. From the gun, the running back has it. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. The defense trying to get a stop on third down from the 44. He lobs one high down the left side. Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes the grab well past the sticks. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. Out of the gun to give to the back. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Now the play fake. Fires on the move. Got his man. And he's brought down after a nice game. And the Rebels will hustle for the line. He makes the connection. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Back to throw. It's O'Neal. Into the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Rebels! Well, if the momentum hadn't shifted before, it certainly has now. It has, and now you got some game pressure, right? That's beautiful. Now the defense comes out, gets you a stop, get aggressive, but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side, they could lose this ball game. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Using the quick game. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. From the gun, the ground game. Still on his feet at the 45. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. They'll ride the hot hand. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Kept it on the ground on first down, now back to the line. The give to the back. Got room at the 35. Gets him down at the 30 after a 15-yard pickup. They are threatening, and they have a first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Makes the grab on the left. And there's going to be a loss on that play. Just run out of bounds and avoiding the contact. Back to throw. It's Nelson. Unloads to the wideout. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? A third and long coming up here. It's a draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. 
He'll bring it out. It's Allen. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. From the gun, running back on the move. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Gonna run it. It's Allen. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. The delay of game pushes the offense back. Now on third down for this offense. Looking for a man. It's O'Neal. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. The Rebels will punt this one away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. The offense likely to lean on the run to milk this clock. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. They'll leave it with him. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Now, if they can get a stop on this third and ten, expect an immediate timeout. Going to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And the Broncos will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fields to punt and try to pick up some yards. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Wants to throw on first down. Snagged in the middle, it's Thompson. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. On second down, just keeps firing. Grab near the sticks, it's Thompson. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Fires to the big fella. We're seeing a lot of confidence out of this quarterback now. Three for three on this two-minute drive. He understands that he needs to step up if his team's going to win this game. And he's playing his best football right now. Looking to throw it again. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. They're throwing for it on fourth down. He'll off one deep down the left side. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Looks like the offense will just take a knee. You're going to hear guys after this game say, got to work harder, got to be more intense. You know, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it seemed to me that's what happened out there today. Yeah, it just never really got into a rhythm for this team. There's no doubt they've got a lot of very talented players on both sides of the ball. So, David, I don't think this is a situation where they need to now freak out and try to reinvent things on either side of the football. Just being in better rhythm early and trying to find that in their next game, I think, would go along. Yeah, and it's just finding a couple of those plays. What, what do I do really, really well? Let's continue to build on that. Let's take away these negative plays. Let's take away these turnovers. How do we create more turnovers? I think that rhythm you're talking about, Jesse, finding those things that I do well, building on them, and doing more of them. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.